Greetings, music fans, and thanks for tuning in to Live from Black Rock. I'm Joe Matamor, your host for today's session, and we're here at Black Rock EPS, uh, which is a full-service recording studio and uh, production facility located in Buffalo, New York. In studio today, we have White Tails. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Um, their latest release, which came out in 2021 is a five song EP called Steering Fate and that's available on all all the popular streaming platforms. Um, I've been really uh, diving into this release uh, the last couple weeks here, really enjoying it. Um, so we have our uh, band here. We have um, Brandon over on the drum kit. We have John on yeah, vocals. Yeah, Yep, that's me. <laughs> and guitar. We have Patrick over here on bass. And we have uh, Sarah on keys and multi-instruments over there and other such things. Um, all right, great to have you guys here. Let's hear some music. Live from Black Rock, it's White Tails. of every side Who you are will always be The turning point of greed Home Carry yourself home
Your childhood is a memory Heavy as the dust upon your palm And the colors that define you Life only in your eyes Your lungs set you free Yes, your lungs set you free Oh, oh, that empty feeling Won't keep your head on straight Long enough for a season to change your lungs set you free All right, so I do have some questions for you guys. Um, first of all, uh, we talked a little bit before the session about like kind of the progression of the band and how that's kind of come together over the years. And I was just wondering how you recorded that EP, that Steering Fate, and how that kind of came together. Maybe you could talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that was um, a collaboration uh, between myself and um, my friend John Angelo, who's an engineer in Buffalo, really talented guy. Um, and we recorded that in my basement. I kind of did like a quick treat of my basement and, um, it's a tiny little space with like a seven foot tall ceiling. So we tried to mock up a room sound as much as we could by putting microphones in the garage, out in other rooms and stuff like that. And then, um, that first EP was my way of attracting good musicians. That's like the goal of that EP was to like get some songs, record them so that I can be like, hey, Brandon, I've got this. Do you want to start playing with me? <laughs> and it worked. It did work. Yeah, it, it worked. worked. So did he did he did you guys know each other before? Yeah. OK. Yeah, we played in a band um, called Black Canyon Lights. It was like a lot of people, six people. And uh, it was a super group, really. Kind of was. It was a good band. It was. I loved that band. Super proud of that. Um, we had Kent Weber on bass. Mm -hmm. was... And Jacob oh, yeah. Brockway played lap steel, and uh, my wife Lisa played keys, and uh, Bryce March played guitar and wrote songs. That's the band that got me back into playing music. Um, 
I quit music for a while because I was kind of discouraged. And then uh, that's the band that like made me quit my good job that I had because I just couldn't do that anymore. And then, uh, yeah, so and then I found uh, one. I, I went through a, quite a few musicians to get these people. Um, so a couple drummers, my one friend moved to Cleveland, so he was out. Then I played with some people in Rochester where I was commuting to Rochester for a while. And that just got, I got kind of tired of that. Um, and then, um, I remember one day I was, I'm a, I'm a window cleaner. So I'm outside the airport cleaning windows on like an 85 degree day. And I called Sarah when I was on a, a lift. I'm like, Sarah, do you think you could play keys? She's like, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I guess I could play keys. No, he said, I'm starting a band and you're going to play keys in it. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> sounds like something I would say. My memory's a little different than uh, what I want. But um, yeah, so Sarah was in. Um, and then I remember calling Pat, asking him. He's an old friend of mine. We played in a band together called Child. It's like a heavy rock band. And um, him and I are kind of in a more similar position now where we're a little more clear-headed and less on the, uh, the drinking train and stuff. So we're a little more focused. <laughs> A lot more focused than we used to be and uh fortunately he wanted to play and so i uh i'm very thankful very 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 thankful because the group benefits so much from having these people to play with um it is so much better um with them then the the ep was a mostly a kind of a solo effort from me and then bringing these players along really uh, elevated it especially the live show um to another level um and now they're much more involved on the writing and recording process so this is exactly what i hoped for um and it's kind of seems to be working out pretty well. So, are, so these guys are now involved in the recording of the new mm -hmm. yeah. uh, EP, yeah. which is hopefully maybe out this fall. Yeah, thinking yeah. as a yeah. release time. Um, so, are you recording that in the same space, or yeah, you... I've been able to upgrade things a little personally with like my equipment and the room. I've learned a lot, um, and uh, I think it's. It's already gonna sound uh, much more the, the the sound that I'm going for, uh, you know, like old two mics and ribbon mics and mm -hmm. um, kind of a I hate to say, it, but like vintagey kind of sound is the what I love. Um, yeah. So uh, old instruments. I I rebuilt a Leslie, like a '58 Leslie, a couple winters ago. So that's all over it. I'm running like vocals through it and guitars and all that stuff. So that's like a huge part of it too. And then I love the the um, like the production of the EP is excellent. I yeah. uh, love your choices. Um, the I was trying to you know trying to kind of sum things up or think about you know an overall picture in my head as I was listening to it, and it really exudes this kind of like effortless patience. <laughs> The production, and yeah, I, I don't know if that's what, how you're trying <laughs> yeah. to what you're trying yeah. to get at, but it really comes across. It's like you're listening and you're expecting certain things to happen, but they don't, and then uh, something else happens when you're not expecting it, and it's you just as a listener, you have to have this kind of patience to wait for things to develop. <laughs> yeah, um, it's yeah. really well done, oh, really thanks. in that in that sense. Thank you. Yeah, patience, I think, is it. I'm a little older now, and uh, I'm still incredibly impatient. And uh, maybe every, hopefully every passing day, I'm a little more patient. And um, I, I do, th I appreciate that. That's a huge compliment. It just, it really sounds like there's um, a lot of thought put into the, the, uh, the choices of instruments yeah. and parts. And, awesome, yeah, thanks. Really great. Yeah, um, I did spend a lot of time uh, on those songs. <laughs> yeah. So writing those songs was, most of them were written over COVID. 
and his, I was trying to get them done during COVID, but that didn't work out. Um, and then we recorded the songs. Um, John would come over and set up his like live rig basically in the basement. And we would try to do like one song a day and, uh, pretty much accomplished that. Um, and then I did some, quite a few overdubs just on my own in the basement. Mm -hmm. So probably all in all probably took like three weeks or something like that. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to get too into, um, too deep, but uh, uh, what what's the writing process like? Dude, we're like, what are you writing about, um, or what uh, you know? What's the inspiration yeah. there? Is do, have things become a collaboration since you've got new players on? Um. Well, as far as the songs go, I they they I mostly write the songs and then come up with a demo. Um, and then present that to the group and we'll kind of arrange it together. And uh, so, but the writing process is really me uh, sitting down with a guitar um, and piano. I kind of switch between the two a lot to just try to hear har different harmonies in my brain and stuff. And um, yeah, it's mostly just in my living room uh, early in the morning. Uh, probably like 8 a.m. or something like that when no one's home, um, which fortunately is quite often. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't mind sitting down for – I lose complete lack I, – I lose complete uh, uh, awareness of time, and uh, I'll just sit down there and just drink coffee and pet my dog and, and just start writing lyrics. So usually it starts with some kind of – it's all over the place because you got to kind of trick your brain so that you're not writing the same thing over and over again. So lately, I've been like, I've been enjoying writing like a melody first, either on piano or guitar, and then kind of stemming off that, like uh, working a chord progression under that, um, and then the lyrics kind of come over time once that melody gets ingrained up here. I start to just mumble things, um, and they eventually something comes out, and I most of the time don't even know what the song is about until a couple of weeks after starting it, and then um, I'll start to learn what the song is about. It's always something, almost always something internal. I've I've made a few attempts of like writing s something from like a, a a third person to um just to try to vary things up but mostly it's just internal stuff just getting just life experiences and a lot of that is that patience thing and learning about myself and learn how to be more patient um and lately it's been a lot about like trying to live more in the moment and being more present um, and not thinking about what's happening next, what's tomorrow, what's like, what's right now. Look up at the sky, look up at the clouds, and just appreciate being alive and um, being with the people that I get to play. I love these people, and uh, I just very much appreciate playing, playing with them. Wonderful. Well, I think it might be a good time to hear some tunes. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to hear some more music from White Tails. Take it away. When I'm old enough to leave well enough alone. Sweep up my ashes With my tongue bitter As a raging bees I'm hungry monstrosity I'm 
Searching for wisdom and who I should be Okay, I'd like to thank you guys for being here today. Uh, White Tails has a great EP out on all the streaming services called Steering Fate. And they have a new release coming up this fall that they're working on right now. And we're looking forward to seeing uh, this group play live around the area uh, this summer. So check them out. And thanks for watching live from Black Rock.
teaching my shadow more than I know.